Hi, I'm Dan Herbert, and in the final video of this series, we're going to continue using the free Maxwell Eye devices for point blank and add some extra synth sounds. This video has been edited down from a longer demonstration, so you may see additional sounds I've created but not actually covered in these videos. So I've just done a bit of housekeeping, renaming these clips and also creating some more variations uh, on them. What I want to add now is some form of kind of quite electronic sounding synth, perhaps kind of, uh, yeah, slightly twisted. So let's create a, uh, another MIDI track. Okay, I'm going to drop in a modular synth onto this. Uh, now the modular synth is based on the VCS3 synth, uh, which is a great little synth from the 70s. And yeah, we can we can either control this via the MIDI keyboard. It's actually far more interesting if we just kind of jam with it and uh, see what comes up. So uh, let's just label this track here and call this uh, messed up synth and audio from modular synth so if i record enable messed up synth let's come back to the modular synth so the key to using this synth is this matrix here and basically here's the output so look if i click here you get the sound from oscillator one oscillator two oscillator three what i'm going to actually do is root oscillator one into the ring modulator and oh, and modulate it with oscillator 2. To hear the output of that we're going to come down to where it says ring and then click there. Okay so now if I kind of move this, oh nice. And let's kind of tweak the uh, shape a bit to get a slightly dirtier sound and to add a little twist and movement to it I'm going to modulate the frequency of oscillator 1 with oscillator number 3. So oscillator 3, here's the output of that, so route that through to oscillator 1. And again, what we can do here, just adjust this shape. Just adjust the shape of the waveform. Level 3 acts as a modulation amount in this context. Oh, this is awesome. So you can hear it's a bit steppy. Let's uh, add a bit of slide. And let's check it out in context. Oh, I'm liking that. So at the moment it's kind of freewheeling, but what we can do is actually sync oscillator three. So I'm really liking that. I'm just going to record some stuff in. Let's just go with it. And we'll try out some syncing as well. So because I've got the slide on, it's always going to be a smooth change. I'm recording sounds this way, it's just a bit more interesting than drawing in automation. Back down again. And if we go right down to uh, as low as we can go. Brilliant. Let's try out sync. So quaver notes, eighth notes, or eighth note dotted. So that's absolutely locked to the track and cutting across the beat nicely. So I've listened through to the synth recording we just made and edited a low loop, a high pitch loop, as well as splitting the rise and fall section, and then labelled these up ready for structuring. So it's already starting to sound a bit busy. I think we can fit one more sound in here for now. Uh, I can hear a kind of uh, high techy sound coming in. So let's um, come back to our graphic sound generator. Um, I'm going to go to rectangle and let's really increase the height so it's kind of quite a rich sound. Um, yeah, 16th notes. I want kind of falling pattern. Uh, the width there is too much. Let's just drop that down a bit. That would just be a continuous sound. Let's click here, drag down something along these lines. Where are we? bit too low, let's increase this bass frequency, which is basically the fundamental. I'll try and extend these down a bit. That's quite nice. It's 
quite harsh on the higher frequencies, but I like what it's doing lower down. So. so we get this kind of decrease, and that actually would work quite nicely with a bit of delay on it. Um, So let's uh, record that in and then we'll edit it up. So we've basically got a two bar phrase. I mean, we could go for a one bar phrase, but that's, we'll leave it like that for now. And then what I'm gonna do is call up an EQ. It's quite harsh, this sound. If you look at the spectrum here, it just goes all the way across. So I wanna kind of uh, just tame the top end a bit. So let's just drop down low pass filter and then I'd also use uh, a high shelf here not like that though good there's some other low stuff down here so let's just <clears throat> put a high pass on and then what I also want to do is just want to tighten up the sound um, because the uh, graphic sound generator, obviously the envelope's controlled by whatever shape you use. So I'm gonna actually tie it up using uh, an auto pan. So we can either use this as a tremolo effect. So let's try this to start with, and then we can make it stereo. I'm gonna need to sync it up, obviously. So it's a 16th note pattern. There we go, so it's a bit of a tighter sound. However, if we, play around with the phase here. Let's set this to 180 and set the rate to eighth notes. We should get a nice little stereo effect. Kind of makes it less intense. Um, for this type of sound, delay is gonna work really nicely for a kind of trancey effect. Needs a little bit more movement as well, so what we could do is go for something like a phaser. Um, and there's a couple of different places you could put this phaser, uh, either before or after the delay, and you'll get a slightly different uh, sound as a result. Let's uh, get the LFO. <laughs> do it over four bars or something, so a nice slow movement. I quite like what the uh, space setting's doing to that. There we go. I might just kind of push it up a bit in volume as well. Let's see how it fits with the other sounds. It's not quite in the same key. We just select over all of these, holding our shift key there. Stick it up. A couple of semitones. Let's go for tones. Yeah, it's starting to sit much better. Now, what also would be quite nice is if we create some kind of ear candy effect. So, uh, just created a new track there. So probably the quickest way for me to do this is just to select that and then click on record. So we've got the audio with the effects bounced down to it. Now, all I want to do is going to make use of the point blank reverse reverb plugin. So. Let's just uh, load it in. I'm just gonna put it at bar one. In terms of the effect, I want delay going into reverb. Increase the delay bleed, makes it a bit more complex. Let's do a kind of cross delay there. Fine, and then we're gonna arm it. And now all we do is press play. It will play from the beginning and it will actually work it out so it actually comes in uh, and introduces bar nine.
there we go. So now what I can do is freeze and flatten that. Here is my little bit of ear candy. So we can just edit this up a bit. It's probably going to overlay something like that. There we go. Let's take that off. kind of quite nice and subtle that actually and just needs a long reverb so you also need an impact sound here to emphasize bar 25 and would be useful to create a range of ear candy perhaps using the point blank riser plugin for when it comes to structuring all these different ideas out hopefully these videos have given you an idea of how the point blank plugins can be used and resampling audio can sometimes produce interesting and unexpected results in comparison to just only using automation